हेलो फ्रेंड्स विटामिन बी ट्वेल्व इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट विटामिन विच इज रिक्वायर्ड इन अवर बॉडी विटामिन बी ट्वेल्व इज अ वॉटर सॉल्यूबल विटामिन एंड इट्स डेफिशियंसी कैन कॉज वेरियस नंबर ऑफ प्रॉब्लम्स स्पेसिफिकली नर्व प्रॉब्लम्स सो डेफिशियंसी ऑफ विटामिन बी ट्वेल्व विल लीड टू प्रॉब्लम्स रिलेटिंग टू नर्व्स सो यूल हैव नमनेस एंड टिंगलिंग इन द हैंड्स एंड इन द फुट you have pins and needles sort of sensation it disturbs other nerves also so you may have difficulty in vision you may have problem of uh, hearing you may have problem relating to the memory you can have loss of memory you can have dementia you can have problems like depression so all kind of nervous problem mental problems can occur due to vitamin b12 deficiency not only that vitamin b12 deficiency can lethargy weakness fatigue in the body not able to concentrate not able to do the thing that you want to do also it can cause anemia that is you have loss of blood or you have less amount of blood carrying capacity or uh, oxygen carrying capacity in the blood so what happens this is called as a megaloblastic anemia now what is megaloblastic anemia megaloblastic anemia is a form of anemia that means re uh, reduction of blood capacity to carry oxygen and th in this the rbcs the blood cells are increased in size so the blood cells are not normal they are increased in size and they are abnormal and so they can cause a lot of problems so and this can cause palpitations you can have other problems associated with that also you can have gi problems you can have constipation problems related to gastritis etc also very importantly you may have glossitis and ulcers inside your mouth so friends we see that deficiency of vitamin b12 can cause a lot of symptoms lot of problems so it is very important for us to realize that we take vitamin b12 in adequate amount to reduce these problems now there are some concepts related to vitamin b12 intake now vitamin b12 is usually a animal vitamin so what that what that means is that it is a water soluble vitamin but it is seen or it is found in only animal food so vegetarian food has a very small quantity or a negligible quantity of vitamin b12 so the chances of deficiency of b12 is very high in vegetarian individuals and it is even more high in those patients who are vegans now vegans are those who don't take even milk so if a patient is not taking animal food if he is not taking milk also then the chances of having vitamin b12 deficiency becomes very high also there are number of generalized body conditions which can lead to deficiency of vitamin b12 now what are those now before do, going to that i will just tell you about a simple metabolism or simple uh, biochemistry of vitamin b12 now vitamin b12 is a cobalt based vitamin and it is also called as cyanocobalamin and then there are different forms like methyl cobalamin uh, hydroxy ad adenosyl cobalamin and uh, sort of like that so this is a, a vitamin which is bound to protein and in your stomach your acid in the stomach that is the hydrochloric acid which is present in the stomach that will actually disintegrate the vitamin and protein so the protein separates from the vitamin in presence of acid in the stomach and then stomach secretes a intrinsic factor which leads to its absorption now intrinsic factor if a stomach is not able to secrete then it may cause what is called as a pernicious anemia so vitamin b12 deficiency can also be caused by gastric problems like atrophic gastritis pernicious anemia as i told you lack of in, uh, intrinsic factor formation crohn's disease celiac disease diseases related to bowel absorption disorders and very very importantly we have many patients who are taking anti acidity medications like pantoprazole omeprazole rapiprazole ranitidine famotidine and these are all anti acid medications which reduce 
the acid in the uh, stomach and this can cause a deficiency of vitamin B12. The other very important reason medical medicine which can cause vitamin B12 deficiency is metformin. Metformin again will reduce the absorption and reduce the blood levels of vitamin B12. A very very important factor associated with vitamin B12 deficiency is alcohol. So those patients who are alcoholic, who are, do, who are in, under influence of alcoholism have a very high incidence of this vitamin B12 deficiency and that is the reason where many alcoholics have neurological problems, numbness, tingling and weak nerves. Now there are two things which are very closely associated to vitamin B12. And these two salts, they are this is methyl bialonic acid and homocysteine. So these go reverse of vitamin B12. So if the vitamin B12 level in your body reduces, the level of methyl malonic acid and homocysteine increases. So these are reverse. And these two are harmful for your body. So if you have an increased level of homocysteine in the body, you will have high levels of heart disease. You will, have, you will have a high le uh, uh, level of depression, you will have a high uh, level of dementia, so high chances of mental disorders are associated with increased homocysteine levels. So if the homocysteine level is more than 15, it is suggestive. If the methylmalonic acid level is more than 0.4 micromoles per liter, then it is also suggestive. So decrease in vitamin B12 will lead to increased levels of methylmalonic acid as well as homocysteine patients ask us that how will you diagnose a vitamin B12 deficiency. So vitamin B12 deficiency is suspected on basis of clinical grounds, suspected on basis of symptoms that a patient has and then we can confirm the diagnosis by doing a serum or a blood test for vitamin B12. Normal levels of vitamin B12 should be 200 to 250 picogram per milliliter and if it is less then that it is suggestive of deficiency. Now I will be just talking about a gross body requirement of vitamin B12. Now vitamin B12 requirement increases with age. In an in a infant it is like 0 0.4, 0 0.5 uh, microgram and it increases with age. And in an adult individual the requirement is only 2.4 micro, micrograms per day. This is a very small dose. In pregnancy, you need a little more that is 2.6 and in a lactating female, you will need about 2.8. So this is a very small amount of this vitamin which is required in the body. But the problem is the active absorption. So if we are giving the uh, vitamin B12 in form of a tablet, so if we give a 500 microgram tablet to a patient, actually only or about 10 to 12 microgram is absorbed. So very little amount of vitamin B12 that is given to a particular patient is absorbed. So that's why we need to give the patient a higher dose. So usually if you want to give a vitamin B12 in a maintenance dose, you need to give around 500 to 1000. And if you want to give it in therapeutic dose, you need to give 1500 micrograms per day. Now occasionally, as I told you, those patients who have problem related to absorption, which starts from patients who are on uh, antacid medications like ranitidine, omeprazole or pentaprazole, who have absorption disorder like celiac disease, who have problems like Crohn's disease, pernicious anemia, atrophic gastritis, all these patients will have a very poor absorption of vitamin B12. So in these cases, you need to give vitamin B12 in an injectable form. So these patients need to be given vitamin B12 in a injectable form. So we recommend an injectable form of vitamin B12 for these patients who have bowel or stomach related problems. So friends, I hope that I am able to cover about vitamin B12 in detail. Some patients have also asked me about adverse effect of vitamin B12. So vitamin B12 is a very very safe vitamin. Usually there are not many side effects known, not many uh, uh, effects because of overdose is known. But uh, in there is there are some reports that very high levels may be problematic in renal disease patients. And if you take in 
pregnancy that the child may suffer from autism. Apart from that, routinely high vitamin B12 level is not harmful. And if you have a high, you, if you by accident inject a higher dose of vitamin B12, that is also actually all right. So I hope that I am able to cover this topic in detail. If you have any more questions, you can write us on the comment box. Please do subscribe to our channel, Advanced Hospitals. Thank you.